Um, hi guys, uh, welcome to another installment of Worker DBA Tutor. Uh, again, so this is the second part of um, of, of configuring um, uh, Oracle and Adenia and Access Management. Next thing you have to do is you have to install, after you install the database, uh, successfully you have to install the WebLogic server. So what I'll do is, I'm going to go to my, open up my web browser. I'm, I'm going to go to uh, Oracle.com and so basically again so the 12c um, the 12c um, ins installation package is not is not out yet so you have to basically install um, 11g uh, release um, it, 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 the 11g um, um, uh, software and configure OIM uh, for 11g so basically you have to down you have to come here to download Go to um, uh, Oracle Fusion Middleware. <coughs> so basically, when you get to this page, what you have to do is you have to. This is all right. Okay, so basically, you click on see all, see all uh, free WebLogic server for developers. Click on that. basically when you get to this page you can actually um you can select again so the version you'll be installing is 10.3.6 so basically you you want to install uh this is this one so again just accept this and um and and you have to uh, install um again 10.3.6 is actually for 11 gr one as you can see so install this file Basically, and if you, if, and, and again, so uh, one of the things that I, that I was struggling with was, you know, uh, I wanted to show which package to install. So if you're not sure, uh, go to downloads, go to Oracle Suite, SOA Suite. <coughs> so you can download on this page, from this page, or you can also, I'm going to show you the second way to do it. So when you get to the SOA Suite, um, basically you can just accept accept um, the license and in terms of what to download so be very careful so um, if you have a Windows 32 bit then you can download this and you know just run the, ex the regular execute uh, statement but if you do not then basically you have if you have a 64 bit like I do then basically what you have to do you have to download the gener generic 64 uh, bit uh, JVM and this is just a jar file so basically before I get too far ahead myself here, so okay, so this is what you have to download. So you select 64 bit and you need to download uh, this web logic 10.3.6 and this you need to download this jar file. So basically, after you download the jar file, then what you have to do is you need to I'll show you how I open mine. So you need to, uh, this is what I have. No, not, not this. Okay. So what you have to do is, uh, basically just figure out where you, figure out where your, where your JDK is located. Uh, your J, uh, so that will typically be in the, if you look at your uh, directory, it's gonna be in, um, you know, it's gonna be in, you know, for me at least it's in uh, C program files Java, and then JDK. So basically what I had to do was I had to I had to copy, I had to get to this tab and actually before I, before I do that, let me do this, I should have I should have it Basically, this is how you install the job file. So basically, you just have to uh, set the path. So, oh, 
to open up my command prompt. And what I would do is I would cd to set path to um, equals double code. I need to get to my for my uh, GRE folder. So this folder. Copy this. That's it. And this is actually I am missing then. So set that as your path. And then basically what you have to do now is you need to put in uh, java slash jar and then you put need to put the file path so for me I had it you know I had it on my desktop so I just put the, the path to the jar file on my desktop basically that's how you open up a jar file on windows so actually you know what I should have done I would actually just show it to you as opposed to that path is equal to then uh, Java jar and my path location should be if I look at my desktop um, if I, I'm looking I'm looking for this file so go into properties get my directory so now I'll come here paste it and then so my file name is actually copy this paste it Basically, this is how you're gonna be able to extract the, the job, the generic job file after you download from Opal. So, what I would do is again, there's no need for me to install another WebLogic server. So, for now, what I would do is close this. Basically, that's just how, um, actually. Okay, I'm gonna walk you through the installation of WebLogic Server. And again, so this only applies to um, the version that the WebLogic Server version that you, that you need to install to configure OIM with 12C. I don't know if you notice it, but on my desktop I have it. I have 12C, basically like already just you know the an executable file, executable file. That's way to um, that I can pull it up at any time. So and if you look at basically if you look at if you go back to the page to the, uh, the page where you have the SOE suite and again so you can also also option you can uh, all, you can install the um, J developer. Um, but you do not have to. Uh, I mean, you don't have to do it. From, from what I've from what I've seen, you just need about five five uh, components and these five. So these four. I mean.
And also, I'm, I'm going to make sure to post this script on my uh, on the discussion section for my YouTube channel. So do um, do if you if you if you're stuck with a job file, then basically that's it's going to be it's going to be in, uh, that's why I'm going to place the, the script. It's almost done. There you go, 100%. And so now the configuration wizard should open. So pretty much when you get to this stage, uh, click next. Um, again, basically just figure out, uh, figure a um, an local home, a, a middleware home. Um, basically, you can create, create one or use an existing one. I have the option. I can. I have two middle, two um, middleware homes. Um, so I'm gonna choose the D one. Um, so click next. So when you get to this page. Um, basically just again just uh, if you don't have a um, an account with Oracle then you can just um, opt out of uh, security updates uh, so do you wish to bypass the video? Yes I do and then click next yeah I probably do with your man yes use right brush yes So um, here it's gonna again. They really just they hammer you, you know, to see if you really want to sign up for uh, an account. So basically, just click on this one, which will remain uh, uninformed. You can continue. So basically, when you get to this page, basically you have um, you you be able to look at what's gonna be installed, um, and then you be able to uh, basically again just figure out the size. So this one is obviously it's um it's zero because I I have no I made no selections, um so so basically it's gonna show the size that it's the size of the WebLogic server and basically and after that you can just click next. So let's try that. And then JDK chosen. Uh, you can select the JDK. Go into browse. Uh, for me, I have I have a, as I showed you. Um, not not this video, but basically I have multiple. I have um, you know, two G two JDK. So I'm gonna go to uh, just one of them. So Java JDK, and that's the one that I will use. So let me go back and select it. 
Let's see if we want my JDK. Click next. And then here again, uh, just you know, Warbreak server home, coins home. Click next. And then basically, when you get to this stage, um, you need to just uh, again just confirm that this is this is these are the, these are what you would like to install. Uh, and then click next. And pretty much, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna uh, install those packages. So I'm gonna exit. I do not want to install these. And basically, after you after the installation, you you, you can then go into your um into your uh, directory, and you can find. So actually, let me just go on this. So I have a D local middleware, and I have this is where my uh, what the web project server is going to be installed. And obviously, this is my web project server. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time.